for Annenberg Media. I'm Connor McGlynn, joined alongside legendary baseball player Alex Rodriguez. Alex, thanks for joining me. It's great to be here, Connor. Thank you. So, obviously, you had a nearly 23 season career in the majors, but right now you're taking on a different role within the Yankee organization. You're a mentor, somebody who came into the league as an 18 year old and now being able to be that guy who these 18 year olds look up to. What has that experience been like for you so far? So far has been a lot of fun. Um, I'm very uh, flattered and humbled that Hal Steinbrenner has me as one of his advisors and uh, the fact that I have an opportunity to mentor some of our great young players is something that I'm very happy about and I take uh, extremely seriously. And you know, for me playing almost 23 years, Connor, I feel like I'm in a very unique position to be able to go back and talk, talk to our players about the good, the bad, and the ugly, and really um, talk to them about that arc. And hopefully they can learn from some of my great mistakes, but also they can learn about some of the great things that I've done in the game. Well, some of those big mistakes, you were served with one of the harshest penalties in baseball history with your one year suspension. What were you able to learn from that period off and be able to come back and still be a resilient player on the field? Yeah, I, I think, you know, first of all, I think uh, I made a mistake and uh, I doubled down and uh, made things worse. And then after a point, you have to look in the mirror and take full accountability for, for what I did. And that's exactly what I did. And when I came back, I just wanted to come back a different player and a different person and uh, really focus on appreciation and being grateful to uh, all the great opportunities to be one of 750. And I think sometimes we forget, I know I forgot, on, uh, on how, how fortunate I was to play in the big leagues. And uh, luckily for me, uh, better late than never, I was able to finish my career uh, not only playing well, but also um, with an appreciation. Well, not only were you able to finish your career, you made an impact across the country, Seattle, Texas, and then finally in New York. All your accolades, MVPs, World Series, 600 club and home runs. When you look back at your playing career, what's the one lesson that you really take away? Oof. Um, I would say be honest and appreciate everything that you have. Um, you know, you have to be accountable. You have to be able to look in the mirror and be, be real with yourself. And I think the more real you are with yourself, the better results you're going to get on the field, the better you have relationship with, with the fans and everybody around the game. And um, yeah, that, that would be it. Well, that relationship with the fans kind of grows with your other new job, being a TV personality for Fox. Obviously, there's the historic and notable call with the A-bomb for A-Rod. When you're on air, are you going to have any type of a go-to slogan? Or I know it's different because you're not calling games, but what's going to be your mantra when you get on air? Well, look, I, I, I don't, I'm not a really fancy guy. I kind of try to keep it uh, buttoned up and stick to the facts and kind of stay in my wheelhouse and my lane. Um, you know, I think what I bring to uh, any network is the fact that you know, I have my 10,000 hours. I really have a, what I think is a crystal clear understanding of baseball at all levels, not only on the field, but development and then the business aspect from it. And then uh, because I understand it so well, I try to convey it to the audience at home in a very digestible form and not overcomplicate things. So obviously that's always a big help. You can catch some of that 10,000 hours and experience knowledge with Alex Rodriguez on Fox Sports and catch more from us on uscannenbergmedia.com. Alex, thanks a lot for joining me. Thank you and thank you for having me.